Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He comes to the ring wearing black with gold and weighed in at eight stone, nine pounds. A native of Romania, he is now fighting out of Madrid, Spain, and brings a professional record consisting of 15 wins, three defeats with three wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending WBC International Super Bantamweight Champion, Yonut El Capo Baluto! And his opponent across the ring in this main event, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring wearing black with red and gold and weighed in at eight stone, eight pounds. Hailing from right here, Telford, Shropshire, England. He is undefeated with 12 wins. Five of his 12 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current British Super Bantamweight Champion, Liam Dangerous Davis! Liam, unit. I want the team fight. I expect that you follow the room, what you have got in the dressing room. Okay? Protect yourself. Good job. Good job. Well, Carl Frampton, Kiko Martinez and Kid Galahad have all got on to be world champions after winning this title. And if hometown support counts for anything, this could well be the night for Liam Davis. For the first round. Who was outstanding in beating Mark Leach. Tonight he's got to find a little bit more against a man who seems to fight every round, Richie, as though it's his last. Yes, he's a good fighter, he's, he's blue chin, he's been in with some good opposition. But him coming forward might just suit Davis. Davis, like I say, he's fairly strong early and gets big shots landed early on in a contest. And if Baluta comes over that front foot carelessly, then Davis has got a good chance to land the big shots. Davis got off to a lightning quick start against Mark Leach. He had him on the canvas in the first round. He also sustained a cut himself. And we do know that Baluta is a fast starter. And there is a feeling that this might be a fight that Davis has to grow into. He'll throw the straighter punches, Davis. He's a bit of a hooker, isn't he, Baluta? And a real pressure fighter. We saw that against Brad Foster and others. Yeah, Baluta's the shorter man. He knows he's got to get in the ins inside of Davis's long arms. That's why Davis has got to maintain a gap, keep the punches nice and straight. But his jab is just going to is, is as important as his right hand here. Fletch. Davis in the black trunks, trimmed with red. And the trunks of Baluta has Il Capo on the back, the boss. And this is such a big night for Davis. The atmosphere has been building inside this Telford International Centre for quite some time. And the welcome he got when he stepped into the ring will have made the hairs on the back of his neck rise. But he's got to concentrate now, concentrate on the job and make sure that he does the right thing in there. Yeah, it's all about concentration there. It is a good crowd. They love the boxing here in Telford. I tell you, in Shropshire in general, it, uh, it's been a good turnout tonight, but he's got to concentrate here. Davis unbeaten. Baluta has lost three, but he's on a bit of a run at the moment, winning fights that people didn't expect him to. Baluta typically busy in the opening couple of minutes of this first round. European Super Bantamweight title on the line and the WBC International title which Baluta currently holds. See, that's important for Davis, just maintain that gap, work off your jab, try and stay in the centre of the ring and just stifle the attacks from Baluta as he starts the attack, just whip out that jab, stop him in his tracks, don't let him close the gap down. Final 30 seconds of the first round. Push Michael Conlon all the way, Baluta. Conlon said that he was very difficult to read, unpredictable in many ways, but Liam Davis said he's looked at him and he finds him easy to read. So we'll find out whether that transpires this evening. That's good work by Davis, catching Baluta on the way in. Baluta though quickly responds. A good shot from Davis. Baluta did respond there. See, that's what I'm talking about. That jab there, just stifling the attack as he's coming forward, stops him in his tracks. It was better there from Davis. That's the end of the first round. 
good solution move off to the side to maintain the centre of the ring. De Luca took some solid shots from Brad Foster and from Michael Conlon, but didn't really seem to take a backward step. Uh, Davis says that he's fitter tonight than he was the night he beat Mark Leach. Had a shoulder problem that night, said he's as fit as he can be for this one tonight. Scheduled for 12 rounds, this one, between the hometown boy, Liam Davis, and the Romanian tough guy, Yonu Baluta. So that's the important shot, that jab, but his movement also. He's got to listen to his corner here. One step back, then shoot off to the side, come around and hold that centre. If he gets pushed back to the ropes in the corners, that will that will suit Baluta and will always look better on the judges' eyes with him pushing Davis back. So the, the movement's important from Davis around Baluta. Can get untidy when Baluta's in the ring. I think that kind of situation transpired two or three times against Brad Foster. He does tend to rush in, doesn't he? And it can get very messy. Yeah. Because he's an in-your-face type of boxer, though, um, Fletch. He comes forward a lot, closes the gap down very quickly. Davis has the longer reach, he's got the physical tools necessary to beat Baluta tonight, and he throws very straight punches, which, for a man who comes in swinging, could come in handy. Another bad right hand now over the top from Baluta, Dr Davis. Comes in thrown those hooks, he does tend to start fights quickly, sometimes doesn't always get over the finish line though, does he, Baluta? Well, you see, you can see the problem that Baluta's got already, getting past that long lead of Davis. You know, people talk about Davis's power and, and the good, good power in his rear hand, but it's the jab for me here tonight that can win this contest. Just simple boxing, just, just set up that right hand, but that lead hand there, maintaining the gap, that's the important thing. Good left hook got through there from Baluta. He's got to be careful, Liam Davis. He throws lots of punches, all different angles, lots of them wide. Got to keep your concentration in there tonight if you're Liam Davis. I would think he's the kind of fighter, Richie Baluta, who makes it very difficult for you to fight your fight and find your rhythm. Yes, very, very. Uh, you got the spot on there. He can disrupt your rhythm, he can go through the, the gears, this is better from Baluta now. Davis happy to tie him up. Davis wants to work behind that jab and follow it through with a straight right hand, but so far he's just landing a little bit short with it. Welcome back to the Telford International Centre as you look at some of the work in the second round. A little bit better from Baluta there, that right hand Bonus, over the top. Davis seconds. did catch him with the shot, but he just follows up there with that straight left hand also. Spoke to Carl Frampton this week about what we can expect from Baluta tonight and what Davis needs to do. He said that he was very disciplined in beating Mark Leach and he's got to be even more disciplined in there tonight against Baluta. Well, got to keep him at bay. Got to keep him at bay with that jab. Baluta effective with fast feet coming forward, whips the shots over also. And Davis has got to box at a high intensity, but try to keep the punches straight. Difficult, because Baluta's quick with his feet. It's not always pretty from the Romanian, but it's high intensity, very aggressive. moment Richie Davis not really able to land that left jab effectively no his, um, his accuracy is just eluding him at this stage Davis so but you know he can he can get back to throwing that jab just got to get his timing right and take that back step and bring his opponent onto the shot his com complete commitment in everything Baluta does what Davis has got to avoid Fletch here He's throwing the jab and missing the target, leaning over his front foot. He won't be coming forward, missing, because that's when he'll walk onto a shot. That's better, because he's boxing at range, staying at distance there. I think the 
general consensus was that he might have to withstand one or two ferocious attacks in the early rounds here and then grow into the fight in the second half, Liam Davis. They had better jabs, that's better work with the left hand. Some sensible boxing there from Davis, Paluta too far out, trying to lead with the hook. That's better again from Davis, keeping him at distance. It's the accuracy, long-range shots, much better there from Davis. Baluta just slowed the feet down, so that's suiting Davis, the pace if it slows down. Davis can see these attacks coming, he adjusts and brings Baluta onto the shot. The referee just wants a word. With the two of them, judges tonight from Sweden, France and Italy, 12 rounds. This has been a better round for Liam Davis. He's done the work the way that he wants to do it more than he's been able to do it so far. Comes in like a bull, doesn't it, Belinka? Yeah. Comes in like a quick. When you've got... When you're a bit pre more pre predictable like that, see his feet come very square there, better from Davis. Crowd like that, Deluta instantly wants to respond though, he's determined to fight fire with fire. But Davis starting to land for the first time, right at the end of the third round. And that was a much better round for Liam Davis. Yeah, much better, a great round of boxing. Better work from Davis at the end of this round. Deluta responded. With Davis there, finishing the round strong. And uh, he won that round for me. Baluta coming forward, misses the target there. Davis just had the better of things in that round for me. Corners, 10 seconds. Six Steve rounds. Bunch is scoring the fight for us. He's given Round the first three four. rounds to Liam Davis. I think what we did see in the third round, Mitchie, for the first time, Davis was able to get Baluta going backwards, which will suit him if he can continue to do that. Especially if he can keep him in the uh, moment. Straight shots to make him go back, and that's maintaining the gap, then, yeah. It's going to be interesting the way that the judges do score it tonight. Steve's given all three rounds to Liam Davis. I suppose it's whether you're scoring on his accuracy or the volume of work from the Romanian. It's one of the fascinating little conundrums that the three men who are judging this fight tonight have got to come to terms with. Davis settling into more of a rhythm now. Fourth round of 12. Both men fighting for the vacant European Super Bantamweight title. I think Baluta has just slowed down a little bit, and that's actually suiting Davis. Looking well with his jab, doesn't need to be in these situations, though, up close. And we got cut in his previous fight against Martin Leach, a nasty cut across the bridge of his nose, so just got to maintain that gap if he can. He's a volume puncher, Baluta, rather than a concussive puncher. Doesn't stop too many, but throws a million punches every time you see him in there. Davis seems to have those lunging attacks under control now, which he seems to read them relatively easily. Yeah, because the feet have slowed, you see, from Baluta. And that's actually suiting Davis. But again, it's the lead hand which is key for me, for Davis. Davis. Final few seconds 
of the fourth round. Oh, well blocked that was from Davis. Right hand over the top from Baluta. So again, it's Davis for me controlling things again with that lead hand. That's good work. Dots him on the back foot, caught him with a lovely counter and the Ali shuffle to finish the fourth round. Errol Johnson's Four been days, saying that Baluta's making seconds. more and more mistakes as he slows down. Yeah, he is, and he's coming Second forward out. and he's walking on to shots. And at the moment, Davis wow. got his tactics spot on again. And Bell sounds fifth round. And a clash of heads right at the start of the fifth, which is signalled by the Belgian referee. And just checking on the damage to Jonu Baluta. Davis finding it increasingly easy to pick him off as he comes charging in. He seems to have found his timing with that, Richie. Yeah, he has, but now the signs of frustration are there for Baluta. So things are going Davis's way, and Baluta's not liking it, and he's come out on that front foot again. But Davis has just got to um, keep a steady head here and just bring him onto punches. Baluta's just losing it mentally a little bit, knows he's got to get to Davis. There's some damage as well to Baluta's face after that clash of heads right at the start of the round, which we'll keep an eye on. Oh, there's definitely damage to Baluta's eye, and that's probably from that head clash at the start of the round. Yeah, Baluta's Fletch. taking more and more punches as well as he comes in. He's playing the role of Matador extremely well here. Liam Davis. He's the British champion bidding tonight to become the European champion, and in doing so, pick up the WBC international title as well. So take a look at the cut here. Oh, yeah. This is unfortunate, isn't it? Clash of heads at the start. But Davis again, tactics spot on. Here comes the opponent, rush forward and catching him with, with better punches. It's okay for now. Corner are going to have to get to work on that at the end of the fifth round. Everything at the moment going Liam Davis' way. I would think it's so easy to get drawn into the fight that Baluta wants to have, but he's been so disciplined. What he's going to do now, though, Baluta possibly, which is go for broke. He knows he's got. Davis has to stay disciplined in there now. You just try and keep the punches straight. That's what he's got to do. Work with the right of the cup, maybe also as Baluta comes forward. Nice accurate work there from Davis. Baluta threw that punch from a mile away. Too far out, Baluta, and again showing signs of frustration. Nice work there from Davis. Final 30 seconds of the fifth round. Becoming more and more ragged for Luther the longer the fight goes on. And Davis has him in that corner, fights his way off, but he's swinging wildly now for Luther. And Davis keeping the punches straight, but he's keeping the distance also. This is the clash of heads right at the start of the round. It's accidental. Then the clash of heads there. But nevertheless, Baloo just come off the worst. Ten seconds. Steve Bunce has him winning all Second five rounds out. so far. He's got a wide margin lead, Round according six. to Steve's unofficial scorecard. Remember, judges tonight from Sweden, France, and Italy. Would you concur with that, Rich? I think so. I think uh, Baluta. had a close round. I think the second round was a little bit closer, but it, it's all Davis, isn't it? Davis is winning the, the contest quite comfortable. This has been nice and sharp. Get 
the impression though, Richard, that Balut is the kind of fellow who'll fight until tomorrow morning if that's what it takes. Yeah, he will. Well, it's just, um, yes, definitely, but Davis has just got to stay disciplined, not make any mistakes. And just, just stick to the basics, the straight shots, especially with the jab and when his opponent's on the inside. Yeah, just, just hold him, wait for the referee to say break. And, and just don't give him any opportunities on the inside. That's what Davis seems to be doing. <laughs> Davis happy to work on the outside and pop out that jab, and then when Baluta comes charging in, he ties him up. Which I'm not sure there's a great deal of power on the punches from Deleuze either. No, I think what Davis, but Davis is boxing a clever contest, he's boxing well at range, but when Baluta does close the gap, he's just tying him up on the inside and he's not giving Baluta the, the, the space to actually to work. Look, see there again, look, just tying him up, just stifling the attack sort of thing and then get back to the, to the long range work. So it's a clever contest up to now for Davis. In. That's lovely boxing there. One, two there from Davis, then away. 40 seconds left in the sixth round. Good shot from Davis. Long left hand, found the target. Luton missing timing again. And again, and Davis is round. And with Luton starting to fill the pace, he's boxing more and more with his mouth open, which is often a sign that. There's a bit of time this creep again. <laughs> That's another solid round for Liam Davis. Round seven. Into the seventh round we go. The seventh time that Belutz has been this far. He's been in longer, more longer fights than uh, Liam Davis, but the general consensus is he's got quite a gap to make up on the scorecards the way that Davis has started this one. We spoke about it at the start of the contest and the ring walk that Baluta all this week has just seemed confident, probably too confident, and now, I think uh, frustration, I can't believe the way this is going at the moment, because Davis boxing very well on the outside. Boxing a very, very sensible fight tonight, Liam Davis, not getting sucked into anything, not losing his own discipline, not being rattled by these bull rushes from Yonuk Baluta. Steadily piling up the points and building himself a nice lead. A good one into the Davis body. Yeah, just switch there to Southport Baluta and have a bit of success to the body in the head. Just caught on his way out. Continues to swing away wild in the Romanian. Davis trying that long right hand. Yeah, it's a good shot though because he's throwing it and not not going over the front foot. He's throwing it, then he's stepping back, and then which is maintaining the gap, and Baluta goes into moves into that space, and then Davis goes back at him. <laughs> Ten out of ten for effort so far from Baluta, but the more stylish stuff has come from Liam Davis. And Baluta looks the tired of, of, of the two, to be quite honest. It's impossible to not have messy moments in a fight against your own believer. Yeah, because he takes the contest to the opponent all the time. So he's, he's always close and then it's a little bit scrappy. But 
Davis. Davis is doing the, the right thing on the inside. He's keeping him very close, Baluta, to him. And uh, Baluta's not scored him well enough for me on the inside. Davis unbeaten in 12 so far. When he does land anything on the chin of Liam Davis, he hasn't really had the power to make him take a backward step. Baluta trying to go through the gears, encouraged by his corner, and there's the bell to end the seventh round. Fletch, because Baluta has had a little bit of success, and he, come, he can come strong now. I was about to say he's got to start taking one or two chances, but he's been taking chances from the opening bell, hasn't he? It's round how, eight. And it's how Davies responds in this round, really important. Maybe at this stage, though, for Davies to do anything different, stick to the game plan and keep doing what's got him into this position in the first place. So occasionally... Davis counter-attacks, so he beats Baluta to the punch. He sees the attack come in and then just steps forward with that jab and just and just stifles the attack and stops him in his tracks. That's what he's got to do a little bit more of. And just get your timing your timing right. You can't afford to to let him close that gap just there. Like Baluta had a bit of success there. Davis tried to counter with a three-punch combination of his own. Davis's jab not as effective as it has been. He's going to get back to using that shot. With a bit of authority, hit and then move. That's a little bit better. Baluta has had, he's having more success this round, Baluta. Faster with the feet. He's had a bit of confidence from that last round, maybe. Only found his second win as well, the Romanian. Just showed one or two signs of fatigue a couple of rounds ago. Davis now looking to push him back. Fantastic atmosphere in here, great hometown support for the hometown boy Liam Davis. Good work by Davis. It's worth pointing out as well that a lot of the punches Baluta throws fall short of the target. Can't get close enough to make them pack. Yeah, that's because the movement. He put so much into that shot now, he just couldn't really come off his feet, but I have to give credit to, to Davis for maintaining the gap so he's moving backwards. Difficult for Baluta to close that gap if the opponent's moving away. 30 seconds to go in the eighth. Punching well as Baluta was coming in, he was wide open there, Baluta, and that's the end of the round. Just... Oh, they got any worse, as if they've had that under control. Seconds out. Round nine. So four rounds to go. The vacant European Super Bantamweight title, the WBC international title. Liam Davis looking to add those belts to his British title that he won impressively here against Mark Leach, and he's done everything he's needed to do up to this stage. And you wonder whether Baluta can get dig deep enough to summon up this big finish that he, we think he needs. If we follow Steve Bunce's scorecard, he certainly needs a big finish. He does need a big finish. I think ring position, Davis has boxed really well, holding the centre of the ring, moving around Baluta, hasn't been pushed back to the ropes, so the tactics are good there. And Baluta's just been inaccurate on the inside. 
Two good chaps there from Davis. Has he thrown a jab yet, De Luton? Everything's been a hook. Yeah, well, it's just on that front foot, it's just looking for that right hand there, it is there. He's left up into the midsection of Davis, but no effect. Davis there, but you've never really felt he's got the power in either hand to cause him too much of a problem. That's good work by Davis, waited for Baluta to show his hand and then landed smartly with that right hand. And one of the problems that Baluta's had here, Flex, landing that right hand, Davis has been moving away from him, so even when he does land the shot, it's difficult to have a, a real effect. He's not a big puncher anyway. And if Davis is moving away, he takes the power and sting out of the shot anyway. So that's why Balut has had rare success with that right hand. Just over a minute to go in the ninth. A good shot from Davis as Balut came in. And again, that's really smart work. He's just getting the tactics right. It's basic boxing again from Davis. One shot there as Baluta came forward from Davis, good right hand. Baluta landing with that left hand to the body. Davis landed with the left hand in there as Baluta came in. Difficult to sustain the attacks as the tank begins to empty, the attacks get shorter and shorter. Left up. Seconds out. Championship round. Steve Bunce has it 89 82. He's only given Baluta one round so far. Three to go. Neil Davis in control. Flat chops trimmed with red. Against this bull of a man, Yonuk Baluta from Romania. He might lack a bit of style, but he certainly doesn't lack any determination. He's been on the front foot throughout, he's been throwing everything he's got at Liam Davis. Just ineffective on the inside, I think, Baluta. I didn't think... I think that he thought that um, Davis wouldn't be so accurate with these shots, wouldn't be so awkward. I think he showed signs of frustration. The will, he just cannot find the way here. Baluta again missing the target. And again, Davis just tying him up on the inside. Short with that swinging left hook halfway through the tenth. A little bit of success though from Baluta. Trying to that left hook now, but he's got to get close up to, to Davis to throw that shot. So that's a little bit better. And again, with Davis just. Stepping back, yeah, he took a right hand on the way in, Baluta there, which made him spring back off the ropes. It was a good shot, good counter punch from Davis. Minutes ago in the tenth. Not been a great.
don't get as much of the body from either of them. Davis now looking to force Belita back, trapped in the corner. Good work again from Davis. Tryer, the looter. I'll give him that, Richard. But he's trying from too far out. He's going to get closer. Maybe using his jab and measure that distance a little bit better. Launching the attack from too far out, trying to land the hook when your opponent's moving away from a difficult shot to land. There you go. That was a clear example. Started the attack too far out. It's a hook. Davis is moving back. You're never going to hit the target. Very unlikely. Continues to do it, hasn't taken a backward step really all night, has he? Just hasn't been good enough up to this stage. No. Well, he hasn't been accurate enough, Fletcher. That's the, the problem for him. Certainly, the intensity is there from him, the work rate, yes. But again, look, I mean, just swinging away, frustrated. And uh, again, Davis boxing better on his back foot. Penultimate round of the fight, both of them can see the finish line. It's a good shot by Belucci, one of the best he's landed for quite some time, that left hook, sweeping shot. Yeah, that was better from Belucci. But to be fair, Davis has kept that right hand of his very high all night, hasn't he? So they've obviously done their homework, they know that Belucci is dangerous when he gets close, especially with the left hook. Davis kept that right hand very high indeed to try and block that shot. So again, basic defence has helped Davis throughout um, this contest. Just got caught with one there, one got through. Wild swinging left that went flashing over the head of Davis. I think we all expect the Romanian to empty the tank. Whatever's left in there is going to be thrown out. And what remains of this round in the final three minutes here is the only chance he's got. Liam Davis has to keep his concentration, keep his discipline. Absolutely, it's just about seeing this contest out now. I think he's right ahead. He's got a bit sensible. Keep that gap. So the counter attack occasionally, beat the looter to the punch, keep him on the outside with the straight shots. That's what Davis has got to do, Blue to get through there. Still coming forward, still believes he can win this Baluta. Still dangerous. A minute to go in the 11th. It's been a feature of Davis' work tonight that when he has come rushing in, Baluta, he's remained composed at all times. Baluta with a wild swing and a miss again. With a nice counter shot there as Baluta came charging in once more. A tremendous stamina, Baluta. Yeah, he's a, he's a proper, real pro, isn't he, Baluta? He's a bit of a throwback in many ways, isn't he? Had some tough fights and he's a difficult man to be. Very determined. Coming on strong now. Dying seconds of the 11th. Baluta did land some shots in that round, Richie, but probably not enough of them. Been out too far to suggest that the Baluta onslaught is imminent. For the 12th and final no round. prizes there. Final round. Liam Davis, the local boy from Telford, three minutes away from the European title, unless the Romanian Jono Baluta can find something special from somewhere. Just got a boxer instruction there, Davis. Just got to hit and move and keep the gap. 
doesn't need to be making mistakes, dropping the hands going forward and uh, giving Baluta a free shot. It's just literally bank management, here to move and keep, keep the, your distance, that's what Davis has got to do. Fights were judged on desire, Baluta have been undisputed world champion, but it's about skill and class and guile, boxing to a game plan, and Liam Davis has done that brilliantly so far tonight. Left up. Hasn't worked well enough on the inside for me. The judges tonight are from Sweden, France, and Italy. Super Bantamweight Championship of Europe on the line for both of them. Plus the WBC international title. Baluta's has given everything. Davis has boxed cleverly. He's been disciplined tonight. He's picked Baluta off brilliantly at times. Yeah. It's a great division, isn't it? Uh, Chavez Massoud, number one contender. Andrew Kane, Bradley Strand, Peter McGraw, the boxers don't like to get on with Davis, so who knows, there could be future defences, but I'd like to see Davis and Shabazz Massoud, that would be a cracking contest. The Luta continues to fly forward, wildly swinging away, hoping to land that big punch that can turn the fight his way. It's been a very mature performance in there tonight from Liam Davis. I think the second contest on the tryway is had to get the tactics right, and he has done. He did against Mark Leach. That was a good contest, and here again, he's boxed at range very well. Kicked his opponent on the end of those jabs, and it's his movement that's been been good. He's been circular around his opponent. He's held the centre of the ring very well, and uh, yeah, the tactics again from the Davis camp have been spot on for me. Inside the final 30 seconds, Liam Davis almost there. The crowd rising inside the Telford International Centre. They know their man's on the cusp of becoming European champion. Liam Davis knows it too. Fantastic performance. It will go to the judges' scorecards, but it would be one of these shocks if he's not crowned European champion and been a few minutes time. Well disciplined display there from Davis throughout the contest, started it very well, kept Baluta at bay, box well at distance. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Massimo Badrovecchio scores it 116 to 112. Judge Hakan Sindemark scores it 118 to 110. And Judge Christoph Fernandez scores it 117 to 111. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBC International and European Super Bantamweight Champion. Liam Dangerous Davis! Liam Davis is the European Super Bantamweight Champion, the WBC International Champion and the British Champion. And he was outstanding tonight, Richie Woodall. Great display from Davis, measured, disciplined, kept to the tactics right the way through the contest. And uh, yeah, he's beat a good opponent there. And he deserved that. It was a good display from Liam Davis. Well done. Brilliant. Outstanding display from Liam Davis. The hometown boy gets it done in the Telford International Centre again. He's the European champion, the WBC international champion. It's Liam Davis's night.